positive pressure is, is sort of touted as the solution to any home. And that, I can tell you categorically from the start that that is not the case. So in New Zealand, we have lots of what we call brick veneer buildings. And, and what a brick veneer building is, is, is really two boxes, an outside box and an inside box. And the outside box is the roof and the bricks and the, and the ground, I guess. And the inside box is the wooden floor, the stud work and the plasterboard on the inside of the, plast on the, of the studs and the ceiling. And so the air in a brick veneer building that is in the subfloor space, so that moisture laden air that's coming out of the ground is free to flow around the inside box through the stud space. That's how they're designed to operate and up into that roof space and evaporate. That's fine and dandy. So if you put a positive pressure ventilation system into a brick veneer house, you're pumping the subfloor air, not the roof space air, directly into your house. And we know that that subfloor space air is generally really, really, really damp. So they should never be installed in a brick veneer building for a start. <laughs> a, a concrete tile roof. Now, concrete tile roofs generally don't have building paper underneath them. They're kind of worked on the assumption that the concrete tile can absorb a certain amount of moisture and then give off a certain amount of moisture and it'll kind of self-regulate. So the air in a, in a concrete tile roof is really damp as well. So they should never be installed in any, any house with a concrete tile roof. Skillion roofs, obviously they can't really be installed in because this doesn't make any sense. But it's also the condition of that roof space. So if you've got mm, decayed old pink bats or decayed old macerated paper or dead birds or dead rodents or anything disgusting in your roof space, you've got to think about the quality of the air that you're pumping into your house. My advice is if you're going into your roof space, you need to wear a respirator mask, not, you know, not just freely have that air pumping into, into, into your living space.